Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, this is Rose Gordon. If you don't know me, I apologize that you have found this video. Um, I write historical romance novels. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're just plain weird, just kind of like me. Um, anyway, for the year 2018, I have accepted a challenge to do one video blog post a week, which is scary, and scary both both ways here, both for you and for me. I I have a face for radio, or I guess for computers, because I can be behind the screen and no one ever sees my face. And now I'm coming out from behind the screen, which is scary all the way around for you and for me too. Um, anyway, for those who have ever followed my blog, you will know that I'm short. I am not quite as short as what the background would indicate behind me. And I'm actually sitting on the floor, and the reason for that is I, I've had a hard December, very, very hard December. Um, a couple days ago, I came out of my bedroom to make breakfast, and as soon as I opened the door, I knew something was not right. It was the smell. It could just stop an army in its tracks. It was horrific. And dread filled me as I made my way to the living room. And with each step, the smell was stronger and stronger, and my nose started burning. And when I got to the living room, my worst fears had been realized. My heart slammed in my chest with all its might and then dropped to my stomach as nausea just came over me. It would seem, unfortunately, that my sofa had died. Or rather, critter from outside had come in and died in my sofa. And yes, that is true because only weird stuff happens to me, as you all know. And the smell was so, so awful. All thoughts of breakfast left my mind and instead I went to go wake up my kids. My two boys, they're two free teenage boys, you know, they bring me all sorts of nasty animals from outside. Bugs and worms and sorts of other stuff. They've even brought in a few that they've half eaten when they were younger. So I got them up to help assess the situation or because you know what? Misery does like company. Let's just be honest. Misery likes company and if you're going to smell something stinky you want everyone else to smell it too because it's it's almost like this thought of well if there's three of us in here sniffing maybe the smell will be sniffed up quicker. I don't know. But anyway I got them up and I couldn't bribe them. I mean, I offered lots of stuff. I could not bribe them to reach around into the cushions to help me get anything out. There was no, I even offered them gloves. I don't know what's wrong with these boys. But anyway, um, we just considered that a total wash. And after about three or four minutes of smelling this stank, stink, stank, stunk like the Grinch, I guess, <laughs> we decided it needed to go. So uh, the three of us dragged it down to the curb. And actually, in order to do so, we we took the fastest route possible. We dragged it through the grass. We didn't even get it to the driveway. We just got it to the grass and then across. Where we said a silent prayer as we shivered in the cold. We, we prayed that the trash man would please, please, please take this sofa away. And it's been about a week and the sofa is still there. The trash man wouldn't touch it. No poor unsuspecting soul who's come by and seen a free couch at the end of the driveway has taken it. Uh, I think I'm going to have to call someone and have it hauled off because I'm telling you, it's got like a green sphere around it where the noxious gases have been admitted and made like a little bubble over it. Anyway, so that's why I'm on the floor. Um, it's also a little dark because, well, it's getting dark and for whatever reason... My lights have decided to stop working over the holiday, and I was going to call an electrician over the holiday. Uh, the plugs all work. The appliance plugs all work, but the lights don't because, like I said, everything weird happens to me. And if you look that way, you can still see my Christmas tree. That's up for no other reason other than I'm just lazy. But I promise, I do solemnly promise, I will have that tree taken down by March. I'm going to beat last year's record. I'm a redneck, but I won't leave it up that way. And anyway, so the story with my hair, also a gift from the sofa, the smell like permed my hair almost. I mean, it just like made these beautiful ringlets 
Okay, not really. Um, this is Southern Girl Frizz from, well, it might be colder than a witch's scorn out there at 13 degrees, but we still have a little moisture in the air and that just makes the hair go free volumizing. Um, so there's that, like I said, I'm weird. And the spoons that you hear, when I accepted this video challenge to do one video blog a week for the year 2018 starting today, which I waited a little too late to start because look, I'm losing sunlight. And I've already done about 15 takes and I don't think I'm going to have time to do any more. Anyway, when I accepted the challenge, <laughs> I was told that it would be easier or it might make you feel more comfortable if you hold a, a microphone. Well, I don't have a microphone. Who, who, who has a microphone just laying around their house? Um, anyway, so since I don't, the next best thing I could do was a spoon. And when I went to the silverware drawer, these were the only spoons my kids had left. Um, all the normal spoons were gone. So I've got a fancy little spoon, which I don't even know what it's really supposed to be used for. I use it for whatever I want, sprinkle sugar on something, scoop out olives. I'll even eat my cereal with it sometimes if I'm out of cereal spoons. I don't care. I've got a slotted spoon, which, again, I'll use it for whatever I want. And I've got this. I'm not really sure what it's for. Maybe soup. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of elongated. And, again, hey, they're my spoons. I'll use them for whatever I want. In fact, I'll even use this one for a microphone if I feel the need to. Hey, this does kind of feel better. I haven't sat in front of it. I should have done this at the start. This feels even better. Anyway, that's all for today. Again, my name is Rose Gordon. Feel free to sign up to my blog, um, whether it's because you want to watch because you like weird and crazy, or you want to make fun of me. I really don't care. <laughs> uh, being in the book business, I have taken a lot of criticism, and believe it or not, my skin is starting to get thick and crusty. You can ask my kids. They'll tell you all about my heels. Anyway, y'all have a blessed 2018. I hope that you guys have many good things happen to all of y'all. And we'll see you in a few days.